Whenever possible, it is desirable to render all your graphics and data before starting your live production. That way, you don't have to worry about waiting for a render to complete before updating data in your live graphics, and you're able to conserve system resources for running your broadcast. Graphics are automatically rendered when they are added to the playlist, and we've added new functionality to render and store data for your graphics, which we refer to as caching. For this tutorial, my example use case is that I'm preparing lower thirds for a webinar. We're going to use the same After Effects lower third composition for all the participants. So for starters, I can edit the text fields directly in the Live Data tab of the Layer Properties panel. I'll enter my name and job title, but of course I want to save this variation of the graphic as I set up more participants. To do so, I'll click Send to Cache, and now we can see in the Cache List tab, a line has been added with the text that I entered. I'll go back to the Live Data tab, enter the info for one of my colleagues, and then click Send to Cache again. Another line has been added to the cache list with the text variables I sent. Additionally, I can simply double click on a blank line to add a new row and directly enter my new text strings in the cache list. Finally, I can build my cache list from a local spreadsheet document. To do so, I will add a spreadsheet data controller and connect the name and subtitle variables to the text layers in my design. Then I can go to the Spreadsheet Data Controller tab and use the new Send All to Cache option. This will populate data from every row in the sheet for each column that is connected to a variable into my cache list. Now it's important to note that all the data in the cache list will automatically be rendered. So sending all to cache from a very large spreadsheet could result in significant render times. If you save and close a Titler Live project, all cached data is stored alongside it, so you won't need to re-render the next time you open the project. Once you've built the cache list, you can use it to control what data will be visualized in your live graphic. I'll go ahead and play this layer. Now I can click any row in the cache list to send that set of data on air. Now, I already mentioned that data from your cache list is rendered and saved alongside the project. Your renders can also be saved along with your Titler Live project into a project package in case you want to transport your rendered graphics and data to another system. To do so, just click File, Save Project As, and under Type, select Titler Live Project Package plus Cache. This will create an NBTLPKG file, which can be imported on another system with all of your renders intact. I hope what you learned in this video will help you gain time and peace of mind by pre-caching data from your graphics.